All right, so we're going to do places that start with the letter W. One, two, go. Washington. Wisconsin. Welsh. Wichita. <laughs> Worry. Did I even say that right? <laughs> Wichita. Is that even right? right. Wichita Falls. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. What's on me? Wichita Falls. Waco, Texas. What is going on? <laughs> West Virginia. Whoa. Woo! West India. West Africa. <laughs> West, in- West America. West India an island? What? Since West, when? West. <laughs> Happy. West Since America. when? Since 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 when? West when? Since when? West when? Since when? West when? Since when? Since when? Since when? Since when? West when? Since no matter. Blessings oh, and Jesus. love. It is always Ooh. a great day here at Refuge and Fortress. My name is Emmanuel O. And I'm Lani O. And this is Philia. Yes, sir. We are back again with another episode. My name is Emmanuel. All right. So we're wrapping up our Bob and Becky series today. Glory to God. This is the last video, last episode for the month of November. Wow. Ah, I know. The year is coming to an end. My God. I'm excited. Let me pause here and say this. Number one, subscribe if you haven't because you don't want to go into next year Doing the same thing that you Just used subscribe. to do before, you know. One. Come on now. Number two, hang out with your boy, and your girl. You yeah, know, like, we be praying, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Friday. Wednesday, Friday. Wednesday, Fridays, we pray on Facebook and Instagram, Instagram. live, five a.m. Central, six a.m. Um, Eastern. Eastern, and then um, starting next year, we're gonna be back with Truth, our Truth session, live as well. And we're going to go in person. I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm excited. We're bringing Philia to you in person. There's going to be Philia in person. In person Philia. Can you imagine? It's going to be wonderful. Come have a good time you know? with us. So, yeah. So, that's what's going on. And 2023, by the special grace of the almighty God, yes. has been declared yes. our year of divine rising. Our year of divine rising, Amen. our year of divine rising, we're looking forward to it. It's yes. going to be a wonderful year for every single one of us. Absolutely. Refuge and fortress, a safe haven, a people, people lifted. lifted. God bless you. And so today we're talking about, we're throwing it back at Becky. Right. Right? We're right. throwing it back at, we were, is, it, we, is it Bob? We, is it Becky? we were a little we harsh on Becky We last were, right? Week. We were, right? Right. So, so, so. <laughs> So, Mr. Bob. So, we want to show Becky some let's, love. Let's balance week. it out as we round it up this month <laughs> yeah. for Becky's sake. So, she doesn't start feeling bad. Yeah, you understand? Look up We're for my We're talking girl. about today how to make a woman fall in love. Oh. How to make any woman fall in love. You want her to love you, love you? Go on, money. Go on, money. Go You want to watch this video. And I ask you to share it with your friends and your family as yeah. well as we go. And so without wasting too much time, mm-hmm. the first way that I believe you can make any woman fall in love with you is... The emphasis is serious. Emphasis, right? <laughs> is by being her friend. Yes. Ooh, Let me important. outline this. You see? Mm-hmm. This, this, this. Yeah. Philia. Love. Let me bring this back now. There's a love called philia. And if you look on the tag of this philia, you see that it's friendship, fellowship, partnership, partnership, right? I believe philia love, which is the friendship love, Mm -hmm. is the strongest love there is. Mm -hmm. You know, there's the romance love, and then there's the storage, which is the mother love. But the friendship love... Is the kind of love that you have for someone with no strings mm-hmm. attached. It hits different. It hits different. It's not about the sex, you know, because we can get that anywhere. The philia kind of love is a very strong love. Yeah. It's a very strong form of friendship. Mm-hmm. If you want a woman to love you, be her friend and make her laugh. Women love 
friendship. Yeah. They love relationship. A girl would not talk to her husband, but she would talk every day, all day with her friend. Can you imagine if she now finds a friend in you who is a boyfriend or a, a husband? Yeah. It doesn't matter about anyone else out there. She's She has it all in you. You're not just her boo or a boyfriend or a husband. You're also her best friend. You know, people, there was a time me and my wife, we went to the store and we were at a, a beauty store, a beauty store. And she was looking at some hair and she was picking some hair out and a lady looked at her and said um what did she say she was like oh that's your that's your is this your brother or something right right. she was like is this your brother and my wife was like no that's my husband she was like what and he's here with you and he's here with you (laughs) she's like child you won And and we were not laughing. only is he here with you, he's helping you pick out stuff. And she was too. like, "It's not just here with you; it's also giving you suggestions." <laughs> oh my God! Do you know how long I've been looking for a man like that? But to us, it's like it really didn't feel so right. weird because we're friends first yeah. and foremost before we are lovers, right? And and that is the first thing because women love friendship, right? Yeah. And if she can find that in you. She, Look, she's going to love you dearly. Yeah. Love her and make her laugh a lot. It's a different kind of love it is. when you have your partner as a friend. Yes. You know, you do things that friends do. Mm-hmm. Put the romance aside. Mm-hmm. The romance is lovely and mm-hmm. it's going to be there. But you also get to like hang out with your best friend. You mm-hmm. get to laugh. And a lot of people see us Tell and they see us like your best friend. joking around, mm-hmm. laughing around a lot. And we were so playful with mm-hmm. each other. And that's just because we're friends. Mm-hmm. Like exactly. outside of the lovey dovey and the you know romance part of it like we have a good time like this is my guy like this mm. is my homie kind of thing who's your guy <laughs> you my homie man who's your homie chop knuckle chop knuckle <laughs> <laughs> chop knuckle oh, chop knuckle chop knuckle chop knuckle more praise more see more fun compliments who's your guy who's your guy who's your guy who's your guy that's my guy who's your guy that's my guy but no, you really want to be friends, you know? And uh, and sometimes, you know, we're more closer to our friends than we are to our spouse. Yes, But if actually. you want to make a woman love you, oh, yeah. be her friend. Whatever she's going out to find you, in a friend, exactly. let her find it in you. Exactly. She, she will tell you how the sick is in the world. Exactly. She will need friends to talk for. <laughs> let me tell you something. Don't, 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 you can't keep a secret with this one. <laughs> When it comes to me, <laughs> no, Ashiri, come. Come she Ashiri. What about Jia Ashiri? It's not Ashiri well, anymore. You should now know. You know. If you tell me a secret, you are telling us. <laughs> you are telling. Ah, what, high five. What to get here? <laughs> if you tell her a secret, you are, you are telling, telling us, us a secret. You know. <laughs> because there's one person in this world that I talk to the most. I mean, I the cock come on so we went funny. Is this one of my head? So the man's a mistake. Well, not mistake. Oh, but the man make a jam see. Oh, jam. I mean, it's just me. Oh, jam. I see. The only time. That I would not tell my wife anything uh-huh. is when it's confidential. That's um, true. Um, um, member, counseling. Yes. Uh-huh. Confidential that's true. counseling. That's true. That's true. Confidential pardon. That's means, true. That's true. You have to be able to protect people's. Um, you, yes. Yeah. That's true. Okay. I understand that. You know, I was about to be like, when? When? No, no, what no. haven't you told no, me? No, what no, have no. you told me? There are some oh, things yeah, I right. can't tell you now. There are some things. Because, you know why? Because, number one, it's not my business. It has nothing to do with me or him. Right. <laughs> it has to do with somebody else's business. Exactly. So, yeah, you're right. So, that's true. Play on that. Okay. Well, that's you though. They, they weren't talking about you. They said me. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. There are some confidential things too that people tell me. But the thing is, when people come to me and talk to me about things they like maybe have issues about, I don't talk to them alone. Usually I bring him in because we're able to kind of advise the person together. Mm-hmm. Unless it's like really, really like a female personal thing. Female personal Right, thing, unless it's yeah. like a really female personal thing, then that's a different situation. But most times, a lot of people are okay with me bringing him in because they always like to hear what he thinks too. Mm-hmm. So... It's usually both of us they talk to too, anyways. So, but anyways, yes, <laughs> find your friend, Shah. Shah, find your friend and your partner. That's, a, that's what we are saying. <laughs> anyways, number two, you want her to fall in love, like fall deeply in love with you, love you deeply. Mm. Prioritize her needs. Mm. Prioritize her needs. I, I, I think this is very important because <clears throat> a lot of people fight over this matter because mm. men. 
you know, they get pulled into so many different things and, you know, work, business or, you know, so many responsibilities. Life, life falls on them. So they, they, they get in a position where they have to, like, balance so many things or want to balance so many things. And sometimes they neglect their significant other. Mm. But Push them to the a woman a woman wants to feel like she's number one. Mm. After God, After God. God is number one yes. in everything. After God, the next person should be your significant other. Yes. You know, prioritize her need. Let her know that she has a special, special place in your heart. Mm. And that goes with doing the little things. Mm. That goes with doing like, you know, things that just make her feel like, wow, you actually put me in a very good position. Like yeah. you actually prioritize me. And yeah. that that really gets her so in love mm-hmm. you know you see the thing is okay let me let me put it this way prioritizing her needs is not compromising your happiness no, of course this is not. selfless love this is sacrificial love that the bible talks about look at what the bible says here in romans chapter 12 verse 10 it says be devoted to one another in love honor one another above yourselves honor and devotion to one another even above yourself right it's really where that prioritizing her need comes in where it's like i'm i'm able to get everything that i need to get done i'm able to get them done but i would never make my wife feel like she doesn't matter right right i would never make her feel like everything else comes before her before her yeah you know Mm -hmm. um and the best way to be honest if we're being practical the best way man that we can do this is by carrying our ladies along yes you got to get things done no problem right so for example let's say um i wake up on a saturday and there's there's something that i need to get done on a saturday and i have to go and my wife is saying well you never hang out with me this is the time this is our family time this is our okay we can kill two birds with one stone. Let's go together. Why don't you hop in the car with me and we'll go together to where I'm going, mm-hmm. right? That way I get to where I need to go and we get to hang out. Mm-hmm. How about that, right? That compromise, but yeah. also letting her know that what she want, you're prioritizing. Right. And you're giving it matters it to, and you're, to you. It matters to so you. So you're willing to figure it you're out. You're willing to make yeah. it work, to figure it out, to let her know that, listen, I, I care deeply about you. Now, I want you to be happy. Yeah. And whatever you need, I am able to prioritize. The Bible says it. It says, be devoted to one another in mm. love. Mm. Honor one another above yourselves. Yeah. Devotion to one another is all, all a lady can ask for. You yeah. give her this priority. You give her this kind of devotion. She's going to fall She in wants love to with feel like she's number over. one. She absolutely. definitely wants to feel like, after God, after she wants God. to feel like she's number one. And so the third point. Yes. On how to make a woman fall in love with you all over again is being yourself and look good doing it. Yeah. There's a guy we know. Oh, God. I'm going to tag him on this video. His name is Moshako Daku. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. You, you did not bring Moshakodaku. <laughs> Moshakodaku. His name is as Moshakodaku. Oh boy, I love her at four. <laughs> ah, that guy loves himself, <laughs> you know? And it's a good thing. Yeah. You know that, and it's it. in his name, Moshakodaku. Mo like he shackles die. <laughs> and wakes up again. <laughs> he goes to this video like, why are so, you from me? But he <laughs> loves himself and he looks good doing it, right? right. If a woman dates him, and wants to go into a position of marriage with him, there's something she saw in the beginning that she that made her want to continue mm-hmm. into a relationship, mm-hmm. into a marriage, mm-hmm. right? Be yourself. Mm-hmm. And, and if a woman loves you, so be it. And it's it's really it really it really speaks to the way you carry yourself. Carry yourself. yourself. Confidence you know, level. The way you carry yourself. <laughs> like, you ever see a group of women in the club? Well, not, not necessarily in the club, but somewhere, Shard. Sure, just out somewhere. And one guy just enters like that. <laughs> one guy just enter like that. And everybody's like, ooh, who's that guy? <laughs> well done. Well done, well done. First of all, that was you. Well done. That was you. One guy just enter like that, looking good, you know, carrying himself with charisma. Mm. Okay, okay, sh- you know what I'm saying? Mm. He just, he, he just walks in. His presence just, you know, he just. Mm. 
That's what we're talking about. You were getting somewhere though. That was you. And that was you. You know yeah. when we first met. Mm-hmm. That's kind of that's what he came. He came into the. He just walked into the into, into the um, hall. I think we we're at a seminar. Just walks in. All of us were just looking at him like, Who's this guy? guy? Be? This guy. <laughs> Who's this guy? This guy. And this guy. Oh, yeah, come soup. Oh, more than soup. More soup. I took soup. <laughs> How many years later? Have I see. Twelve years 12 later. Twelve years later. My God. Woo! Hello? Wow. <laughs> Twelve years later. God is good. Okay, yes. You know? That's what we are saying. <laughs> Look good being yourself. Yes. If the lady sees you and she likes what she sees, she's going to continue to love on you for the rest of her Ca- life. Carry, carry. Because of the way you carry yourself. Yes. Because of you Be being who you are. That's right. A woman, it builds her own confidence. Your confidence builds her confidence. Right, right, right. A woman is, the way they are is, is women love to show off. You buy a woman a, a chair, um, a, a, a bag, you buy her shoes, you buy her necklaces and stuff like that. She wants to show it off to her friends. She wants to mm-hmm. show it off to the world. Right. That means a husband, she loves oh, yeah. to show off too. Oh, yeah. Right? So when you are confident in who you are, she wants to show you to the world. And this has nothing to do with whether you're handsome or not. Or yeah. Ah! It yeah. has not. I have seen confidence. And hey, <laughs> let me, let me. Let me disclaimer your disclaimers. <laughs> My disclaimer comes after. Cockiness is not confidence. Yeah, there's a difference. Pride and arrogance it's is not, not confidence. confidence. There's a difference. Narcissism. I know is sometimes I don't know. Some <laughs> I know sometimes the line might be blurry, but it's close. It's close a little bit sometimes, but when you get to know the person even more, you realize that it is a confident just, person, not cocky person. They just not know proud, themselves. Not you know what I'm arrogant, saying? You know yeah. what I mean? When you are a confident man. Your woman is confident in the fact that she's with you and she doesn't mind taking you anywhere. And again, it's not a function of beauty or how handsome you are at all. Yeah. At all. Have you seen what what guys that are (laughs) confident? I'm telling you. No, I'm I'm serious. Is that what what? Everybody's beauty. There's beauty in the eye. There's beauty in the eye. But but what I'm saying is... (laughs) What I'm saying is, there are guys who may not look the best, best but right. the way they carry themselves, yeah. their confidence level, you will overlook uh, all of that. Oh, quickly. You like my whistle? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's almost going or go out. Or oh, whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, oh, okay. H- hanging out with the O's. This is what we call hanging out with the The fourth O's. way to make a woman fall in love with you and love you love you so deeply you like how i'm saying it softly because it's soft love love you so deeply soft love soft love <laughs> is by making sure she is heard making sure she's heard not just listening no not just listen just listen no. make sure she's heard you know what i'm saying like make sure <laughs> <laughs> continue <laughs> Okay, the fourth way to make a, a, a woman fall in love with you, stay in love with you, is by making sure she's heard. Making sure she's heard, making sure she feels heard, you know? And what this is just talking about, not just listening to listen, because sometimes men, and they get tired of us so quickly. <laughs> Especially when it comes to certain things. They hear us, but they don't hear. They don't hear. They didn't really hear what we said. We're talking about actually hearing her, you know? If she says, oh, babe, I don't really like this. I don't really like that. Or you did this or you did that or whatever. You so don't happen again. You know, next time, while a flower. You say, oh, baby, I like flowers. Or she just hints it at some point. The next time. <laughs> Continue. Continue. <laughs> the next time, we come to the house, you get a Big bouquet, you know those, mm. you know those red bouquet. On my all the celebrities be buying that they will fill the only room <laughs> with red bouquet. She just entered the house and That's, just see red bouquet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he just let her know where she was heard. She was just saying it all, but she didn't really like, you mm. know, put too much, put too much issue mm. or pressure into it. But the fact that you actually did it, just let her know. Wait, but why you bomb me? You hold on, hold on, hold on. Although you are jesting, hold on, more. Wait, hello, No, I'm not playing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm serious. Hold on, hold on. I like something you just said. Guys, I think that's a lesson for us right there. So, something I heard you say, maybe you didn't say it, but right. Okay. What I just extracted from what you were saying was uh-huh. that 
even if she was saying it jokingly right right oh yeah you you will catch it with one ear and you pretend like you didn't and then boom manifest later on it. you manifest it Ooh, then boy. she knows you 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 act like you didn't hear me before but you were actually paying attention yeah Oh, that's cool. Like she's watching the movie and she saw this guy. Oh, took, that's cool. She saw this guy that took it, took a girl to the beach, did like a whole beach. Like, oh, that is so cute. And like, you guys are making fun of them. And then boom, you do the same thing. Oh my god, come on, her heart is going to be melting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or she goes, I, I. Well, how how nice would it have been if we if we can go to Cancun, mm-hmm. for example? You know, like, I know we are busy. But I know we're busy, Shah, Anyways, so don't worry, don't worry, don't, don't worry, Shah. Right? And already she has. Out of scope. the abundance, the mouth has, the spoken. Mouth has spoken. <laughs> so she has used scope. She has used brain. She has used scope, wisdom Oti. to JSCP Mufelo Cancun. You know, and then you, you will now be mm. yeah, okay. Like you know, like if I just said, ah oh, man, my deeds, my deeds, my deeds. But this is really nice. Be, be, to, be, to, my deeds. Be, to, I want come man, be. Oh, wow, this is really nice. You know what I'm saying? Like I just say, say ah, Maldives. If me and you, baby, can just go to Maldives. This is just jokingly. And then boom, next week, we go around together and then love Maldives. <laughs> you are a bear, bear too. You know that just shows to me, babe. He hears me when I talk. You are a bear, bear too. Maldives will be Maldives in Ibito. No, no, no. Ah, no. Why not? Oh my Why not? Why not? Why not? No, but that's bottom, bottom line. Not? Is we can go to Maldives. Why not? Making sure, making sure that she's heard. Yes. Talk after this. After this recording. <laughs> But anyways, making sure she's heard, you know, like I, I think that's really, really, really important because a lot of times when we express our feelings or we talk about things that how things make us feel, sometimes it might feel like we're nagging a lot or we're just complaining or it's not that big of a deal. You know, men can look at it that way. But when you actually hear us and you do things or you, you respond to what we're telling you, it means a lot to us and yeah. it just makes us feel like, you know what, this man really has me in his heart you know and that would just make her fall in, fall love, in love even more again. all right that makes sense i like that now finally you, as we wrap up today you caught everything that i said right? i did i did okay <laughs> as we wrap up today as we wrap up this month the last thing that i want to say as making a woman love you all over again like you know guys let me disclaim here there are thousands many, of many, ways many 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 right Everything we talk about, there are thousands right. of ways mm-hmm. to accomplish them. Yeah. We just touch on five. Yeah. Just five because of time. You understand? Yeah. So please take these fives and find more to add to them. Yeah. Amen. The fifth way that I would say to make a woman really love you forever and ever, all over again, is by saying what you say meaning what you say and doing what you say yeah this builds consistency yep and it builds trust yeah in the relationship when the woman feels like she can trust your word Mm -hmm. if my husband says a any at all times Mm -hmm. if he says this is how it is this is how it is yeah Confi- uh, consistency, trust, confidence. If a woman is able to develop this for her husband, for her man, it does something for her. Yeah. Where she feels like she can always count on you. Absolutely. She and can always count word. on yeah. you being a man of your word. Yeah. It is disappointing sometimes or can be disappointing sometimes when you tell a woman something and you do something else. Yeah. Most guys sometimes will mess up, make a mistake. They will apologize to their wives and say it will never happen again. Mm. We are we are maybe we cheated, maybe he made her look stupid outside, whatever the case may be. And it becomes a thing that they argue about and he goes home, he apologizes to her and says, It would never happen again. Trust me on that, it would never happen again. And she forgives because she's a woman. She she's soft hearted. She's tender hearted, and she loves you. So she wants to move on very quickly, so we can get back to normal, right? So she forgives. 
But then a week later, a month later, a year later, you turn around and you do the same thing all over again. Mm. She may forgive. I don't know. Some women may, some women won't, but it, breaks her. it will break her heart yeah. even more. Whereby, if you come back again and say that same thing, she won't. It won't mean anything. It won't mean anything. It won't mean anything. She won't take your word, and it can chip away from the love, yeah. you know, that she has for you. So you want a woman to love you dearly, for real, for real. Be a man of your yeah. word. Honesty. Honesty. Be Make honest. us trust you yeah. at all times. Be consistent with what you say, and just. Let God help you. That's my final point is involve the help of the Holy Spirit. Absolutely. Involve the help of that's the Holy the Spirit. Line. And guys, as, as we wrap up today, unless you have something else to say, no. is if you notice a lot of times we talk, we try as much as possible to go to the roots of these pointers that we raise, these issues, these you know, points that we give. For example, I said... Say what you say what you say. Say and mean what mean you say. what you say. Mm-hmm. Do what you say. That's the seed that I'm planting. It has multiple branches. Multiple. It can grow into multiple things. Absolutely. There's so many other ways to develop yeah. these things that I'm saying. But because of our time, we we, we go into the roots, the seed of things, and give you touch. the seed, and then we expect you to water this seed and let it grow and become a good fruit in your heart. Yeah. Right? We want you to not just be the hearer of the word, but also the doer of the word. Absolutely. And there is a reason why we don't preach these things. We are discussing these things on purpose. So it's entering. So it's so it's on Sielara, on Your spirit is receiving it, your soul is receiving it, mm-hmm. and you're hearing what we're saying from a a discussion standpoint and we make this jest and so practical. you see our life and behind the scenes. I, I wanted to try to make it as practical as I wanted possible. to actually point that out. I like that you said that to just now is when we're having these discussions, we like to get real and be honest with you and you see us laughing and joking about it and we kind of involve ourselves or use ourselves as examples is because we're applying these things in our relationship. Yes. You know, we're applying these things in our marriage. We're not just telling you just because that's what you should do. We're telling you from experience. We're telling you from, you know, like we said, we've been at this for 12 years. 12 years. We've been married six, but we've been together for 12 years. Like literally together. When I say we started dating 12 years ago, you know, so we've been developing this relationship and building this relationship. And throughout that journey, we've made mistakes. We've had issues. We've, Absolutely. you know, we, we've done so many things that, that we've learned from, chose each other each and every time, mm-hmm. regardless of the fact, because we knew what got, what God's purpose was for us, mm-hmm. for each other. And because it was, it is a kingdom relationship, God was always there from the beginning. Mm-hmm. So when we tell you these things and we're advising you on these things, this is practical things that we've used and we are not just used, but we are using in our relationship, you know, and that's why we use ourselves as an example because we want our lives, you know, we want our relationship to, to be, be a, a living testimony yes. and a blessing to those that are watching. Yeah. Um, we thank God every day for our relationship and our marriage. We're not perfect perfect but god is perfect and god is in it yes. and that's what makes it perfect exactly. and each and every day we 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 enlist god in this relationship to make sure that we're doing it the right way and we're following the path the path that god has intended for us. for us and we want you to do the same thing i want thing. you to win in your relationship if you haven't noticed refuge and fortress is a relationship and prayer based ministry, ministry. So we will, because we want to build homes. We want to rebuild homes. Yeah. Um, we understand the importance of a godly home, mm-hmm. godly relationships. It, everything in life stems from there. Yeah. No matter how good of a CEO you are at work, no matter how great of a pastor you are, if the home is hot, everywhere is hot. Yeah. Right? You can't function properly at work. You can't yeah. function properly in church. Yep. You, can't, you can't really be your best version if home is not yeah. a home anymore. Yeah, exactly. So that's why we're really we really have a heart for building and rebuilding home. You know, and so that's why we call it a safe haven of people lifted. A safe haven number one because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. He is our refuge and it. our fortress. Yes. We will run into him and in him we have our safety. He's our safe haven. 
But then we also say a people lifted. In other words, we are saying a people helped by God. God is literally the one using his own right hand to lift us up right. by himself. So everyone who identifies with Refuge and Fortress, they understand that, that this is a safe haven where you can be yourself, be who God has created you to, to be. be. Open be up free, and be, be free open. and be open. There's a love at work in this ministry. No judgment. Philia is love. at work in Everyone. this ministry, right? But also you understand that, you know what? There's nothing you can do by your own power. This is a people lifted, a people literally being lifted, lifted. and helped by God yeah. himself, That's right. you know? And that is our testimony. God is the one helping and lifting us up. So, yep. you know, we don't, we didn't want to get, you know, like this and everything like that at, in the end of this video, but it, it was just laid on so, my heart yeah. that we needed to put the jokes aside for a second and yeah. have you really understand why it is that we're doing what we're doing, we the do. intention behind this ministry and these videos that we drop. Homes must be built and rebuilt because from there, revival will come, reigniting yeah. will come, renewing will come, and it will spread into the rest of the world. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And I think that's it for this yeah. week, for this month. Next month is a Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad? Feliz Navidad, right? <laughs> Feliz Navidad. It's going to be wonderful. Next month Please. is Merry Merry. December. Hey. Odun de. Odun Olowo. Odun Olomo. Edu Mare Jeka Shokbe. Christmas present. Keresi Messi. Odun de. Christmas present. Keresi Messi de. Odun de. Odun Olowo. Christmas present. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I hope we shared a tip or two to help solidify your kingdom union. Today. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like, to share with your friends and family, to subscribe to this channel and comment down below. And until next time, be the light. Be the salt. And remember. All things, things are possible. possible. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving! Ha! <laughs> happy, happy Thanksgiving! Is it this one? Is this one? Is this one? Oh yeah, because it could be either one. To be honest, because it's in the middle. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving. 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 Happy for Thanksgiving. those in America, America, America. I don't know about the word Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, give thanks. Talk give about what you're grateful for. I'm grateful for you. Grateful heart. I'm grateful for God. Give thanks. I'm grateful for my beautiful children. I'm grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for my friends, my family, give all of you. I love you. Because He's giving. Jesus Christ, His Son. <laughs> Until next time. Give thanks. Peace out. With a grateful Hello. heart. Hello. Can you check us out? <laughs> <laughs> and until next time, be the light. Be the salt. And remember, all things are possible if, if you, you believe. believe.